I want you two guys to go out there and run that mile holding each other's hands. Wow. The room erupted into a roar of laughter. Hi friends, John Willard here. Great show today about the importance of lessons learned. And don't forget the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My opening thought, never look down on anybody unless you're helping them up. Friends, life's lessons. Oh, how good they can be. Hmm. What we learn about life as we live it. What others teach us and how important it is to set the right example. Friends, life is now in session. Freshmen in high school can be cruel. And we certainly were to a young man named Bruce who was in my class. Look at Fatso, we mimicked him teased him, taunted him about his size. He was at least 50 pounds overweight. He felt the pain of being the last one picked to play basketball, baseball, or football. Bruce will always remember the endless pranks that were played on him. Trashing his hall locker, piling library books on his desk at lunchtime, spraying him with icy streams of water in the shower after gym class. Hmm. One day, he sat near my friend in gym class. Someone pushed Bruce and he fell on my friend and banged his foot quite badly. With the whole class watching, my friend was put on the spot to either shrug it off or pick a fight with Bruce. He chose to fight just to keep his image intact. He shouted, Come on, Bruce, let's fight. He said he didn't want to, but peer pressure forced him into the conflict, whether he liked it or not. Bruce came toward my friend with his fist in the air. My friend bloodied Bruce's nose with one punch and the class went wild. Just then the gym teacher walked into the room. He saw the boys fighting and he sent them out to the oval running track. But then the coach said something that left a lasting impression on me. Coach declared, with a smile. I want you two guys to go out there and run that mile holding each other's hands. Wow! The room erupted into a roar of laughter. The two were embarrassed beyond belief. But they both went out to that track and they ran that mile hand in hand. At some point during the course of the run, my friend looked over at Bruce with blood still trickling from his nose and his weight slowing him down. 
my friend realized here was a person not all that different from himself. They both looked at each other and began to laugh. In time, they became good friends. Important lesson here. Friends, do you see the wisdom of this coach and how he molded these boys' thinking? Let me share this poem. Be less quick to anger and show appreciation more. Treat each other with respect much more than before and more often wear a smile remembering this special time might only last a while. Going around that track Hand in hand, he no longer saw Bruce as fat or dumb. He saw a human being who had intrinsic value and worth far beyond any externals. It is amazing what we all learn when forced to go hand in hand with someone for only a mile. My closing thoughts. Often it, it is at our lowest point in life that we learn the most. These little moments are magical moments. I'm amazed that it's so simple to free my heart on any given day. I need to remember to get up in the morning with my wife and the pups, of course, <laughs> and watch the sunrise. We go to wonderful places every morning that we're willing to get up, look at that sunrise and say, yes, a new day. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.